Hi, I'm Sina, your favorite VTODLER, and in each episode I die, as you can see. Uh, this one has kind of, you know, decimating me while I was doing other things. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, actually what I wanted to say is that in each episode I talk about or do whatever you said in the comments. So you can basically suggest uh, what I'll be uh, doing or saying in the next episode. And uh, today I will be talking about pacifiers and which pacifier size to get and uh, which pacifier sizes work for adults and which don't, I guess. Uh, although, I mean, the results will be, uh, I don't know, mysterious for some, I guess, because you probably have never considered it. And uh, I'm kind of wondering whether I do uh, have some health potions. Uh, not sure what that was. Oh! Ah! I'm not sure, but this area seems to be very dangerous. Okay. So, one. Um, I've seen better health potions than this, I guess. I mean, that's not very helpful, but I guess it's, it's okay. If you're standing still and are not in combat. Okay, so we need to continue this way, I guess. How much money did I accumulate? Absolutely nothing for some reason. But okay, uh, maybe we'll get ourselves uh, this kind of cute elephant that I saw in the last episode. And uh, this time I also set the timer correctly, which is uh, really helpful. Um, so yeah. So let's talk about pacifier, pacifiers and pacifier sizes. And uh, first of all, uh, what kind of pacifier sizes are there even? Well, basically for, for babies and toddlers like me, uh, there's like three sizes. One is sort of for newborns and, you know, until, you know, kind of babies graduate being babies and uh, turn into what I am, uh, which is uh, toddlers. And then you have uh, like this, I guess, uh, you have this, I guess you have three sizes with the first three years. So one year, then two years, and then three years. And maybe there's some additional size depending on your uh, brand. These are dancing for some reason. Ah! I didn't want to interrupt them. Uh, but this fence wanted to interrupt me. So yeah, there's three sizes for uh, babies and toddlers. And they are roughly targeted towards babies and toddlers of one year uh, or up to one year, two years and three years. And then beyond that, there's uh, also more sizes. Um, although, I mean, these are kind of rare to find, especially those uh, made for children that are you know, older than three years old, I suppose. Um, maybe, let's suppose you are 12 or something, uh, I guess it will be harder to find pacifiers that are specifically made for your size, or for your age, I guess. And I'm not sure what to do, but I'm kind of getting hit by something. Uh, complete, uh, I guess. Where am I, where am I going even? I kind of like went in a completely different direction. Anyway, so there are sometimes... Uh, some pacifiers which are targeted specifically towards children of a higher age, uh, like 12, and these are probably, uh, you know, for medical purposes, which, you know, basically doesn't really mean anything. It's just a normal pacifier, but, uh, you know, uh, they are branding it as uh, some kind of medical device. And then there's also those for adults, so they are actually pacifiers made for adults, uh, and there's like two types of uh, ways to advertise them. One is saying it's medical and um, you know, I guess what can you, what kind of medical problems can you solve with pacifiers? I mean, for example, snoring apparently um, can be uh, reduced or uh, 
cured, I guess, uh, using pacifiers, which kind of makes sense because if you have something uh, and you're blocking your mouth, it's kind of difficult to snore, I suppose. And uh, I guess uh, like these, I'm not sure how it's exactly called, but uh, when you kind of, during the night, you kind of uh, grind away your teeth, that is also, um, that also can be, I guess, reduce with a pacifier because you know you can't really grind anything if there's something between your teeth and uh, the last way to market uh, an adult pacifier is basically um, for people that like this kind of stuff uh, these are usually uh, like referred to as ABDLs which is a group of people that like role-playing babies and toddlers I guess and uh, like diapers and stuff and for these a group of people there's like pacifiers made as well and I'm not sure what this kind of screen is I guess okay I need to summon the black spirit for some reason okay interact with dark portal and defeat the uh, Jaius thingy like this okay so yeah, um, so which of these sizes is actually uh, useful for which kind of uh, age? I guess, of course, the baby and toddler ones are suitable for babies and toddlers. Um, if you're like older, then uh, I guess you can use the, the pacifier with the uh, largest size for toddlers. I guess you can use that for you know, quite a long time. And you can actually as an adult use these as well. Uh, they they are of course a bit like they they are a lot smaller than um, you know or they fill a lot less than in a baby's mouth obviously but they do work um, you can even use like the size one uh, like for newborns and stuff it does work I mean it is big enough to uh, kind of keep it uh, in your mouth and that's pretty much uh, you know I mean you can use all sizes. Uh, but of course, the the one that is made or pacifiers that are made for adults are, of course, uh, you know, I guess better proportioned. They are, have a much bigger teeth, um, also a bigger shield, and they, of course, fill out more um, of your mouth, pretty much. So yeah, if you want, if you want pacifiers, I mean, you can go with um, these ADL ones or medical ones or. Uh, you know, generally those made for adults, or you can go with the toddler and baby ones, which also work. Um, I guess they're more like they're easier to come by and they're cuter than the uh, ABDL ones or the pacifiers made for medical purposes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, in in conclusion, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. You can use all of them. I guess it's more personal preference which one you like more. I mean, of course, the the smaller ones are going to be smaller, but also that means they're going to be cuter. And yeah, I mean, personally, uh, I can't show you right now because uh, my hotkeys don't seem to work uh, when I'm in game. Uh, but actually, let's do this. Okay, so I can't show you right now, but I do have, of course, a a virtual password of my own. Uh, I, I guess you can um, you can look at my uh, YouTube uh, like profile picture. Uh, there you can see me with a pacifier. Uh, although I guess in the future I might change it, so uh, I can't promise you that it will um, stay like that. Uh, but I can promise you that I will kind of try to defeat this one, which uh, will be pretty easy, uh, considering that the only uh, time I almost died was when I was uh, AFK and some kind of goblin was. Uh, clearing me away. Uh, is this horse uh, for me? Like I, I really need one, although I prefer the uh, elephant, I guess. But really, what is that horse doing? I mean, maybe I should have uh, read the quest dialogue or something. Or maybe it's the one uh, from the other player here, which I don't know. But yeah, um, pacifiers uh, are really are really cool, are really cute, and if you uh, have ever considered actually using one for yourself, then uh, I urge you, I guess, to try out the size three, 
um, for toddlers and just uh, pick yourself some design that you like. And then you can of course try the adult pacifiers. Although I guess the um, there's like no, there's like it's diff ah it's it's more difficult to find them. Although I guess you can search up uh, ABDL pacifier and you'll find a lot of them. Uh, but one thing that I'm kind of like not uh, really happy with is the fact that there's like zero uh, zero information on the I guess safety of the materials being used for the adult pacifiers. While well, baby pacifiers are obviously tested for a variety of things um, because you know that would be kind of uh, bad if you sell some uh, baby products that are toxic or something. Although I mean, I mean there are companies who uh, don't care. But wait a second. Uh, did I purchase it now? I mean, or is that, is that my boss? Is that now a horse I can... Mm -hmm. Nah. Okay, let's just um, continue without a horse or elephant. And uh, I can see this time with the timer, it's, only, it's, it's been like 12 minutes or something. Uh, so I did, I guess, cover the topic in a reasonable amount of time. And... Now, I have pick a wildflower at the runes. Um, don't even want to know what kind of excuse the quest, what kind of excuse the uh, quest dialogue made for me to do that. But I'm sure uh, somebody has put some thought to it. And I guess I'll cut the episode right there when I pick the flower. Um, and then I'll think of another topic or I might just uh, actually upload the videos that I've recorded now and then uh, wait for some comments uh, that hopefully I'll get. So if you have any kind of suggestions for a topic and can be anything, you know, for example, um, you're, uh, I could talk about goblins, although I wouldn't really like to because these are not really very uh, nice. I need to... Find the NPC to complete the something something. Okay, let's just ignore these goblins and uh, walk. Okay, but basically uh, you can uh, suggest any kind of topic that you want me to talk about. Uh, write it in the comments, I'll pick these. And uh, yeah, then basically you can decide uh, how how the episodes will turn out. Which I find quite uh, you know, a nice uh, way to make this let's play. And... Uh, there's another horse, uh, although a bit, you know, a bit used. Okay, and I think this is a perfect uh, place to um, cut. And yeah, so bye.